Hey, brothers and sisters. Okay, I'm back again. One more again. <laughs> All right, and y'all kind of see the title there. Um, and I'm going to show you where this title come from, right? But um, <laughs> if anybody remember and recall, when before trump got elected i said this was going to be a benefit to afro men the good ones his election i called it y'all and for those of you that's been watching my channel for a while i said he might not be for us overtly but i said the things that he will cause to happen will benefit the good afro man it will benefit the good Afro woman, but it will bring judgment upon those people that was like, I don't need no man. F y'all. So, all right, I told you I was going to do a number of these short ones. I have a another one um, about the community as a whole that I'm going to get into, but I'm saving that for a live tonight. And so just stay tuned to the channel because I probably won't be giving notices on that one either. But it's it's that one's gonna fe feature MC Hammer in our Senate Hall. All right, but we'll we'll get to that in a minute. But first let me greet everybody. Hola oi to the bank. Vasis Los, Bonjour is me, Ken, Bawani Kwanichi Wa, Nihao Niya Ma, Sani Bonani, Jambo Habaragani, Asalam Alaikum and Shalom. Okay. So basically, where is this um, video coming from? Well, this video was coming is coming from Facebook. As I was loading my video to let people know that the one for Nancy Pelosi is up, and what I've noticed, and everything that happens to us as a people, we deserve. Because this is not the first video I put up about the political system and the process. It's not even the first educational video that I put up um, so far. But in between everything else, the ones that I put up that is more important to how we should govern our money and ourselves because of impending things that's going on, not that many people watch. You had your diehard brothers that watched it because they understood the importance of knowing these kind of things. But in general, you, a lot of black people, they're not going to watch my channel. Brothers will watch it and sisters will watch it, right? And so I just ran across um, some videos and, well, not videos, but some posts. And my answer to the black women now looking for um, Afro men to be their husbands, hail to the no. I mean, really, no. All right, and this is why. Not to mention the, the sad dude that proposed to the woman and got turned down in front of all those people, but because of this reason right here, that these women are now looking for husbands because judgment is hitting them smacking them, I mean, pimp slapping them in the face. All right. So what's going on is this. These women are starting to, um, these women have gone past their use. All right, understand this. These women have gone past their youth. They have dissed the men. They're like, eh, don't need you. Because, you know, the Democrats was running everything into the ground, and we didn't know how bad it really was. All these things that they were giving the people just to vote and get them dependent on the government instead of family. All right? Here's the thing. 
These women were not too big on being single parents until the government is now threatening to take away that single parent money. All right, so you got this. Bonita Addison going over bills, and I'm literally screaming on the inside. Like, seriously, dear future husband, find me. Your girl's struggling, signed. A single parent that hates adulting alone. And then she goes, LOL. Here's the problem. And she's probably as serious as this, just putting the LOL at the end of it. But a lot of these black women now want the husbands to help them clean up the mess of their jacked up decisions instead of wanting us when we wanted to build something with them together and, and raise our children so, so that we wouldn't have this kind of mess. But no, they were independent. They didn't need no man. All right, they'll get you for the child, get put you on child support. Ooh, child support ain't paying all the bills. And now that inflation is hit, the child support ain't getting your nails done the way you want. You ain't getting that Remy hair the way you want. Right? And, and so now they're looking for the husband to help them raise their children that wasn't from the man that's husband, husband material. That means, no, you get to be alone and you and the child get to struggle. And the child gets to know that he's struggling or she's struggling because her mom didn't have enough damn sense to find a good man to create a child with. And so basically, they're going to struggle. That the mom didn't require much of the man, so they're going to struggle. And it is not the duty of any other man to take care of a mo mother with ch children and their children. As a matter of fact, unless that child is separated from the mom, we are not even supposed to offer them help. The same system in which they depended on needs to be that help. Not the guys that's out here just helping children that like I help children where I that I know have a mother and father or a father or a granddad, somebody with man that has supervision over the home. Period. These single mothers, I don't hate. I mean, I don't help them anymore because I don't hate them. But I and this is what black women can't understand. When you're pointing things out and stuff like that, it isn't because you hate black women. Because there's a few black women on my channel I would holler at. But, you know, they had men already. All right. There's a few I met. They had men. All right. But they were good women. The, it, the, the fact that they had a man don't stop them from being good men. Women that that lets me know that yeah they 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 do the right thing they they are good women because they have husbands I have mad respect for them and their husbands all right but see at any point in my life there was opportunity for a quote unquote black woman to settle down become wife material become a sister to the community. But no, they didn't want that. They didn't want to listen. See, they don't like strong minded men that actually care about stuff and that know about things. Most of them wanted me to dumb myself down. All right. And so now they're on Facebook talking about I'm not trying to I'm 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 not just saying rush into something. But now that Donald Trump <laughs> told you he was going to be good for us is moving in office, a lot of us single mothers are going to drown and they need to, and we should not send a life raft or anything. Why? Why should we give our resources to the ones that rejected us, created these children from these thugs, these dregs, then went for the last 50, 40, 60 years, I know that's not in order, 
and talk trash about us as if the dudes that were doing the right thing were the ones that weren't SH. And try to say that the ones that's been um, out here on the grind, trying to do the right thing for the community, the people, the children and stuff, we were just the same as the thugs that they let run all up in them and create all these little children. All right. No, they don't get to come and now say, yeah, yeah, we need y'all to help us now. No, we save our finances for the woman, for the women who, <coughs> excuse me, who are at least virgins. But if they're not that, they don't have any children by no thugs. We save them for the woman that was married, maybe divorced. We save them for the woman. Because a, a woman that has been divorced, so long as she gives the child to the husband, so long as she gives the child to the husband to raise, they are worthy of another man, another shot. So long as she gives the child to the husband, at no point in any relationship does a man that is not the father of the child have any responsibility over raising a child that belongs to a woman that a woman is raising. She made that decision. It is not a package deal. Period. It is not a package deal. Get that package deal mess out of your head that is evil and wickedness from Satan himself. It is not a package deal. Why? Because she shouldn't even have the child. The child should have went with the father. Now, a widow is something else. So we snatch up the widows. Period. All right. Now, you got repentant women. All right. To truly know if they're repentant, then they have to do what is required of the scripture. Meaning these sisters come at you. Oh, I found the Lord, this, that, and the other. And stuff. Yeah, I had some children out of wedlock or whatever. That wedlock stuff is bull. But you know what I'm saying. I had some children and stuff. And if she gives the child back to the father, then you could take her because that's repentant. She's done what the, she is doing what the scripture requires. Child goes to the father. It frees her up to be the wife of another man. And then they can create a family. Period. And the rules are not flipped for the man. Well, if, it, if this is that way for the women, then what about you? No, it's not flipped. It's not the same. And that's a non-repentant woman. Right. So you got these things going on here. All right. And so now and, and some of these brothers get it. Um, some of these brothers get it. We're not to have anything to do with these mothers. Period. Nothing. Absolutely nothing to do with these mothers. You see how that looks. Um, these women, had it not been for Trump, they would have never seen a problem with the children living off the government. Now you got that risk. Now there's a problem. All right. Now that there's that risk, now there's a problem. And now it's the ladies talking to each other again. But guess who they weren't listening to? Us men, people like me that was trying to help them by being very critical and showing them the wickedness of their ways. But nope, they didn't want to listen to people like me. As a matter of fact, they're like, oh, you hate black women. All right. And so you know what? Then my message changed to just the brothers. I was like, brothers, this is that that right there. The, the these women not listening is the sole reason we need to kick them to the curb and find someone else. Period. And so BET is letting you know, black woman is over. How they say it is over. Call it a day. It's so sad it had to end this way. You kicked us to the curb, then lied on us on TV all day for 40 years and a day. 
You see what they did? Now, BET, one of the same channels that they've been running to, oh, the, the black man ain't SH. All right, we was like, we gonna take our SH behind, ain't SH behind, and put, put ourselves out on the market. And wouldn't you know, a whole bunch of women of other communities is swooping in to grab us up. Because they like the beautiful nature of a good Afro man. By suggesting that the reason black women are struggling to find love is too many black men are locked up. Remember that myth? <laughs> Only to find out it's 800,000 out of a couple million Afro men. See, understand that. All right, according to the U.S. Census Bureau, five black women for every three black men are graduating college, professional women. Oh, so they're professional. And so, uh, oh, that means that piece of paper is not keeping them warm at night. Wow, I got one of them pieces of paper too. And trust me, it's not large enough to be a blanket. And you really can't do nothing with that square piece of paper. In many cases, you can't even get a job. Plus, according to Pew Research Center, black men are twice as likely to uh, uh, marry outside their race than black women. What is the marriage rate in the Afro community anyway? Oh, yeah, it's 29 percent. Why is that? Why is the marriage rate? in the Afro community, only 29%. Why? Somebody pray tell me, why is that? Um, could it be that brothers are sick and tired of ending up like this dude right here? Could it be that then we're side, this dude is how we look before the, there's that rejection before that because of the attitude and stuff like that. Black women are so stank, right? Then there's the 70% divorce rate in a black uh, community. If a black man marries a black woman, 70% um, uh, is going to be a 70% divorce rate. And of those, about 90 of it is um, of the divorces are going to be generated by the woman. Because to, for her, the grass is always greener on the other side. Or she really wanted to go lay up with Thuggy Pookie and him. All right. She didn't want no to raise no family with a good man. She wanted a child so that she could use the child as a weapon against the good man and use the child to get some money from the government. Right. To keep the man enslaved to the system. And there is the risk. It's too much of a risk for any Afro man to marry with a marriage license. And the Most High knew this. That's why he said we are not to get that marriage license and license ourselves under the state. We are, in fact, putting ourselves into slavery. And the black woman knows it. And she wants us in that condition. That way she can control us, control the child. At least at this point, a lot of us pay child support. But the woman can't control us. We pay that child support. We're free. Right. But when that alimony and all the rest of that hit, we're through. And that's all the hell and grief we go through with the black woman fighting her worse than the fights we would have with the Caucasian man and his system. No one is worse to the Afro man than the black woman. Ooh, but Trump is now in there and now they're talking about um, they, they, they now looking for a husband. How what kind of dumb do we think do they think we are at this point in our lives? Just think about that. What kind of dumb do these women think we are that we're just that gullible that now they're running on hard times 
that we, that, you know, that now they're looking for us. They're waiting for God to send us them. Why would, and here's the question you ask a black woman from now on that say she's waiting on God. She got a bunch of children by some thugs, but she waiting on God to send her a righteous man. Why would the most high punish a man? Why would the most high punish a righteous man with that quality of woman? She says she's waiting on God to send her a righteous man. Right? So if she believes in the most high, why would she think that the most she is worthy of a righteous man? Why would she think that is fair to the righteous man to be with her? It's not. And the most high warned us about those women. He said, don't touch them. Don't be with them in a marriage. We do not give ourselves in marriage to those women. They on their own. They wanted to be by themselves. Let them stay by themselves. Oh, it's hard now for them. And let it be real hard. And as these younger women pop, pop up or these other women pop up, uh, what do I mean by these other women? I mean exactly that. These other women that have some spiritual fortitude, that's actually looking for good men and understanding what it is that they might be carrying a very, very important seed of the man, because it's always been about the seed. And see, every woman knows it on earth, but the black woman in the United States. And then the black women have been able to convince others in the diaspora to be just like her. And, you know, they're going to take it to the next end. But guess what? It's not working out for none of them. But guess what? It's not supposed to either. Things are not supposed to work out for these women and they are supposed to suffer because at no time are they repentant. They just see the handwriting on the wall and they're looking to find a man that they can use to help mitigate the pain they're going to fill in the resources. How are they going to do that? By getting us to help pay them bills and stuff like that. So they're going to take away from our resources to cover up all the just jacked up decisions that they've made in their lives. And I say like this, we don't have to deal with it. There's too much risk being with the black woman. She has shown her just pure disdain. She will not listen. She don't want to listen. She won't repent. She won't re admit that she's wrong. But she wants the dude that's been doing the right thing to just kowtow to her and give up our manhood. It's not going to happen in my case. I'm done with them. All right. So like, share, subscribe. When you subscribe, click the notification bell. All right. And um, I will be back again. And we're going to talk about all the stuff that I'm talking about now and more and some of the other stuff that's happened. But MC Hammer said something a while back. And we're going to feature that tonight. All right his commentary. All right. So basically with that said, um, I'm out. let me give you a little taste of something real quick. And I want to know if, cause I'm going to feature this, but I want to know if, if y'all can hear this real quick before I go. All right, tell me if y'all can make sure my volume is all the way up. Okay, it is. All right, let me know if y'all can hear this. Now, how much of that is true? Is it a big house or a big house? What's a big house? A big house. Um, it's something where I've been working on for uh, about a year. And I was coming to school. I was working on a big house. All right, so 
what I wanted to what I want to know um, as I switch this back up as I um, get ready to close, I want to know if y'all were able to hear the conversation between Arsenio Hall and MC Hammer. All right, because we're going to feature it tonight, and I just want to make sure that it's clear to everybody. Okay, again, Torres Johnson, thanks for showing up, Sean Williams. Uh, Michael Duncan, Eugene Wright Jr. Uh, so um, tonight around six o'clock, and I'm on the right time now. Around six o'clock, um, we'll be running with that if y'all are able to um, hear that. All right, six o'clock central, six o'clock central. So that'll be seven o'clock Eastern and three o'clock um, California time, whatever they are, or maybe four. All right, um, Sean, Michael Duncan, Torrance got you, Mark Swift, um, what's up? Um, a Griggs, so show up to this channel at six o'clock. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Um, guys, he's, <clears throat> all right, Sean Williams got you. Um, like, share, subscribe. Um, to another one for, um, like, share, subscribe. And when you subscribe, um, click that bell. And um, let's see. Eugene Wright, what's up? Megan um, Don, thank you um, for showing up. Um, David Bowman, um, let me just say this as I, as I get ready to close this out. In Isaiah 4 and 1, it says, in, that, in those days, um, the woman will um, come to the men, um, seven shall lay hold to him, saying, uh, we will bake our own bread, make our own clothes, bake our own bread. Just please let us be called by thy name to take away our iniquity. That means we have a choice who to choose. All right. And the women should all, to be white, they need to be older than, I mean, younger than us. If they're older than us, then they'll just be considered um, uh, elders, right? And we could take them into the house, but not at, in the position of a wife, right? Now, let me say this. If it comes to saving a righteous woman, then we take her as a wife, right? But the children have to go back to the father. But if the father does not exist, we, I mean, and if we know this, the righteous woman, because this day is going to come back uh, quick and soon. And we're going to have to go straight back to biblical times. You know, the man taking care of the, an entire house, right? And so these women better get used to it. But the ones that don't will die out by themselves. Right? Because they won't be ready. All right. So what's up, Michael Duncan? David Bowman, Sean, thank you for showing up. You were G. Wright Jr., all right? And um, um, TYD TV, um, and all the rest of them. Okay? So y'all keep that in mind. Because I thought about that. If I ran across some of the women, I don't know who they are, but if it came that I, to take them as a wife, they had to be one of the seven. If, the, if it comes to that time, I would swoop them up because I know them to be righteous women that support it. You see what I'm saying? And that's what wife is about. That's what why husband takes a wife. They take somebody to support, grow the family, and make a community out of. These women are not capable of that that we're dealing with now in this generation. All right. So with that said, y'all, I'm out. So I see y'all all at six and I'm going to just post it up here. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to be in the description box, because we're going to talk about a lot of stuff, but I'm going I'm to just start it off. I want y'all to hear what this man had to say, you know, and I'm going to just point out a bunch of things. Right. And I know there's going to be somebody could, that could kind of relate to that. But if you show up, remember, don't forget on here. When you're live with me, watch your language, all right?
I think they'll let a couple things slip, but you just can't just be all over the place, right? Try to talk as natural as possible. Certain words are allowed, certain words are not, all right? It's the same stuff that's, that'll be allowed on TV, all right? So just think about that um, um, as Pete, you come on my shows, all right? So with that said, I'm out, all right? Peace, love, and soul to everybody, all right? And I will try to see y'all at around 6, and we're going to be dealing with a lot more of this stuff. And in the meantime, the black women might be looking at their replacements or the Afro women in the um, islands are going to be their replacements or the Afro women in South America is going to be their replacement. But the American black woman is going to be replaced for the righteous um, Afro man. No other woman in America is suitable right now for the Afro man. And so the Most High has to bring some from somewhere else to take their place. Hmm. That's probably why all these disasters are happening. I don't know what y'all think. Let me know in the description box. Peace, love, and soul. I'm out.